guys, it's Great Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 39 of Hino Gato Sky. Pretty curious, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, that crap was funny. It's not Halloween yet, but happy Halloween! Look like Sora. <laughs> I look at them, they're so cute. <laughs> This is already going to be the best episode ever. We are in the last nine weeks. Oh God, it's getting more real. Day of spooks and scares and treats. Yeah! Exactly. <laughs> that made me want to kind of go to the store on Halloween night just to go get like anything <laughs> like any sugar cookie or whatever or wait until the next day because that's when everything's like half off Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, that's Ayana's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she's not a witch. Well, yeah, that kind of makes her kind of witchy. Uh, ooh, it's complicated. <laughs> Oh. 
Yeah, and then you play the witch and everyone else is your apprentice. Right, well, except Subasa. Subasa would be the actual bird. <laughs> Look at her! Look at her! My baby! Yes, my Kaguya! I, I think you two will be fine. <laughs> yep, we gotta make this a night to remember, besides also Christmas. What's wrong, Sora? Not really. Say, wives married once again. <laughs> If we ever got like a Sugar Sugar Rune like reboot or remake, I feel like this would be like the episode for Halloween. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. You got it. You be brave. There you go. <laughs> now, I know they've released like their own Halloween figures for each character and such. I'm about to say girl. But I really now want figures of them in these outfits as well. They look so cute. I love it. Mm -hmm. And that's another reason why I love my month. <laughs> Is he getting what I think he's getting? You're lying. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. Shut up. Oh my God. Bye. Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh. Uh-uh. One of the seasonal ones, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's for everybody. You can't have it all to yourself. Bruh, I can't. Right. Pretty cares are strong. And you, not strong. And press, they have pretty colors. I mean, green is a pretty color. We haven't had a green in a hot minute. Hopefully next season, that does happen. But his is more like a darker screen, like a deep forest screen <laughs> be like but we're all here what the heck <laughs> She just ends up saying cute, goodbye. <laughs> but no, it can't be that simple. <laughs> oh, Sora. <laughs> Nigga, L, the guy. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Bye, like my baby. <laughs> my guy.
Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah, you can't really do that anymore. He don't even know what the heck you're talking about, babe. <laughs> See, yeah, it would make the most sense to have it be sore this week. I mean... Everybody's getting focused, but yeah, typically when you're looking at the Halloween episodes, it, it's the main leader who is getting that focus bet. But yeah, we still here for it. Not the candy, though. Huh? But at the same time, shouldn't one of you at least get focused on the lollipop? You too, Al. <laughs> no, you can say it. We just hope when we get to Christmas, y'all keep this energy up.
<laughs> I'm crazy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor B. Oh my god, my Kaguya. <laughs> okay, can we just talk about the fact that she was so fucking sassy about that? <laughs> yeah. That was so cute. But yeah, she, she over here looking at it like, well, why is mine a baby treat? <laughs> <laughs> With the freaking shade, oh my god! You would okay, but hold on. Let's like, let's be really honest about that. You would think Yoga would make her two different versions, like, an a, a version where she is as a teenager, and then a kid version. And then she's like, no, you're just getting the baby version. <laughs> but I'm glad that um. Subasa and Sora all got to, you know, have a good day and appreciate, like, their first Halloween together. But for the five, I am saying right, five, yes, um, their first Halloween was sweet. It, but it does also make me more excited for their Christmas episode. The, the Halloween episodes are really the holiday episodes, even though they are filler, they're still the best freaking episodes because they're just... It's not main story. It's adorable. It's cute. It's one off. It's one of those where it's just like, oh my god, you're just seeing the group together as a whole again and just seeing them do like the cutest things together and celebrating a holiday and it's cute. And I really wish like, okay, so one of my other personal favorite series that unfortunately doesn't really do any more series aka Aikatsu when it was always a holiday episode or specifically coming into the new year um for the new year they didn't really do a new year's episode but they just celebrated and welcomed the new year and I always thought that was cute and I kind of wish pretty here would do that huh oh my god <laughs> This is gonna be the best freaking wedding for L. It's Kaguya son. It, it's not even Kaguya, not only Kaguya, it's Komi. He is getting the world. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you know what's funny? Because, like, okay, so of course, as I said, her seiyu is both in Kaguya sama as Kaguya and Komi and Komi that can't communicate and stuff. I have been, for both shows, because of her character and who her significant other is for both series, like, I am just, like, waiting and waiting and waiting until we get something where it's, like, a cute little wedding moment-esque. And you're getting it earlier here, so I'm just like... <laughs> okay, well, there, there's one episode, I think it was in season one, of Kaguya-sama Love is War, with her and Chika, a.k.a. Cure Milky. Um, <laughs> where they were playing the game of life, and in the end, it showed her and <laughs> she got, like, married together, and it was the cutest thing ever, and I was like, yes, my Harry, <laughs> like, we need that, like, my pretty hairs are getting married, oh my god, but it is, I, I think this is really interesting, like, oh my god, it, it especially because of the fact is, like, now I kind of wish they could connect it to um power of hope in a way because of course Rin does jewelry and everything and then you just you want someone secretly to you know do like bridesmaids dresses or just bride dresses and stuff and have that connect and be like oh my god because like oh that would be so good like I can't it's too much but I think it's gonna be cute but of course we're not going to see it officially next week because as 
of this episode. I think this is officially now the time when the show goes on like a week hiatus and such. And so unfortunately we have only one Pretty Curious series next week. Unless that is going to go on hiatus as well too. I'm not really sure because I haven't seen anything on not the official Pretty Cure web uh, Twitter page or the fan page that I follow talking about the fact that, you know, Power of Hope would possibly go on a little mini hiatus but I don't think that's gonna happen but if it does we know it's gonna come back the um following episode following episode following week I'm tired but yeah this was so freaking cute but like as I said it makes me super excited to see how the Christmas episode is going to be for this group I mean going back to last year's episode for delicious in their Halloween episode I, I enjoyed it I mainly enjoyed it for my best girls because duh my best girls look cute in freaking Halloween costume. But I do love with this group, it was matching. I even said that last week. I was like, I love the fact that they all stayed in like the same thing and they made Elle into a witch. But it was cute. It fit the vibe and the, uh, the aesthetic and everything. And it just, everything, but it was just so freaking good. But like, yeah, I love the fact that it, you know, <laughs> a former bad guy <laughs> wants to be a pretty cure for a day and I want to see more of that also the transformation Mwah. chef's freaking kiss like I need more of that going into more seasons of pretty cure like we definitely need one episode could be a Christmas episode it could be a non-filler episode whatever something that's canon where the <laughs> the villain transforms Give me that ish. I will be oh so freaking happy. But yeah, that was just so freaking good. Everything about it was just everything. I loved it from beginning to end. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction for you towards episode 39 of Hinogato Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night with the Magic Squad. And of course, I will either see you probably next Saturday, if not next Saturday or Sunday, the following Saturday or Sunday. <clears throat> For episode 40 once again we are getting into the final moments with this group and we know that when the what first couple of weeks of December comes that's when we're gonna see all the leaks possibly for the new group and it just once again it's getting closer and I'm not ready to say goodbye to this group but until then I will see you guys all next time bye